Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. Hope you guys are doing okay. Today, as you guys are about to tell, look at Dead by Daylight, the best Destiny build of September 2020. Now, if you guys are new, what we do in the series each month, I get every single killer in the game and do that best build of that month. Uh, obviously, today is Deathslinger. So, yeah, no waste of time. Let's get right to the perks. So, the perks we have here is Barbecue and Chili. Pop goes a weasel, save the best for last, and cropped intervention. So barbecue and chili does each time after hooking the survivor, all the survivors in the trial, they always have real chief for 4 seconds. Now they always or they always remain with real chief if they're hiding in the locker, their perks counter it, or if they're in the 40 meter range. Each time the survivor is hooked for the first time, getting 25% stackable bonus to all uh, blood points to get to a maximum of level 1, 50% BP, level 2, 75% BP. A little free at 100% BP. Salt Pop goes to Weasel Dust each time after hooking the survivor. The next January kick is instant regress by 25% of his total progress. After that, normal gener um, general regression will apply. At level 1, you have 40 seconds. At level 2, 50 seconds. At level 3, 60 seconds after the survivor's hooked to kick the next generator. Salt said the best for last stars. You become obsessed with one survivor. You can get onto a maximum of 8 tokens, and if you hit a, um, a survivor is not your obsession, you gain um, obviously 1 token, and that is a stackable 5% decreased successful uh, basic attack cooldown animation. Obviously, 8 tokens is 5% uh, each time. And at level 1, if you hit your obsession um, at level 1, you lose 4 tokens. Level 2, 3 tokens. At level 3, 2 tokens. Now, if um, you survive, if you um, if you do kill your obsession, the remaining uh, stacks you have tokens of say the best for last will still obviously work, and you cannot gain any more unless you like have DS or there's a new obsession somehow. So what crop intervention does the free feather generator spawn for you at the start of the trial, blocked by the level one, eighty seconds; level two, hundred seconds; level three, hundred and twenty seconds. No, I think this build is good. It's got barbecue and chili um, for information. Pop goes the weasel for gen defense. Say the best for last um, for a combo you can do with Destinger. So essentially, how it works is um, you just basic attack as survivor is not your obsession. Then after that, obviously, if you have your tokens, you recover really quick from your cooldown. Then boom, straight after that, you just shoot. So it's like a really quick down if you manage to get a shot as well. And finally, corrupt intervention. Um, for extra gen defense, because obviously he's 110 percent movement speed, and his power ain't based on gen defense. So yeah, uh, you're really gonna need <laughs> Crocs when you're playing Destiny because he has the, in my opinion, probably the worst gen defense in the game. But let's move on to the final thing of today's video, which is how to improve the build. So how I've improved the build if I swapped out no perks and I've added two add-ons, one being common and one being rare. So what the common add-on does, which is called modify ammo belt, this slightly increases the spear gun's reload speed. And same for the uh, the rare one, which is called warden's keys. This moderately, uh, moderately at this time it increases the spear gun's reload speed. And these two add-ons stack together, by the way, to make an insta reload deathslinger uh, kind of build you're looking for. Um, the thing is about this, I don't know why there's no uncommon add-on for the reload speed, I think that's kind of stupid. That's only a common and a rare. I find that kind of, um, kind of retarded to be honest. But yeah, that's the whole build. Do you guys like it? Do you guys think you have a better build? Uh, tell me in the comment section below if you do. Um, do you have any questions about the build series, perks, uh, anything in general uh, on my channel? Let leave it in the comment section below if you want to. Uh, next thing we're doing tomorrow is the hag, so make sure your notifications are turned on for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.